Hey everyone, this is JV, JV Gaming, bringing you this Team of the Season player review. And as you can see up on screen, we have ourselves the Team of the Season, Atoro Vidal, who we did pick up there for 196,000 coins. And this one was requested by a subscriber, so for the subscriber that requested this one, I think he also requested for Pogba as well. So if you guys have any player reviews you'd like me to do, leave them down below in the comment section. But getting to this player, we played 14 games with him, scored 7 goals, 1 assist, 1 yellow card. He does have 3-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot, and you guys can see there he's got the high, high work rates, which can be the death of some players that do play up front, but we did play him as a center mid, so they balanced him out a little bit over there. But in terms of skill attribute-wise, there is a lot of stats over there in the 90s, and there is only one stat that is in the 70, at 71, and that is his heading accuracy. But I'd say it's a little bit questionable. You guys will probably see a few heading opportunities in the game where he did score those, so I'd probably question that stat, but besides that, he's got great finishing in the box, um, really good long shots, you guys will have a lot of fun with those long shots if you do try them out, uh, sliding tackles, standing tackles, they were really immaculate, so that's why I did play him as a CDM, and also he does have some really nice volleys, so you get a ball in from across, and he'll more or less smack it in quite easily, and over there onto those physical attributes, yet again, no yellow, he's one of those players that doesn't have very many flaws on him, and that's one thing I really enjoyed about him. It was such an easy player to use, and a very easy player, moreover, to review. And you can see that he's even got 85 strength, so that's quite nice on him. And attack positioning, though, is his only other weakness, which uh, I'd say I never really used him up in attack, so that stat really didn't play a big part in it. But over here, you can see he's up on the field, going for that shot. He does get it off the rebound, does finish it off, and in the box, he will most likely finish anything off. So, you guys are probably never going to have an issue with that side off him. You can see over here, he does make some quite solid runs, and look at that for a chip shot. He absolutely dings the keeper inside the box, and that's something just to behold. It's just a really nice spectacle from Vidal. Here we do have a free kick, and uh, we do manage to score that one over there, and that's uh, not a bad free kick. I definitely say he's got that ability to dip those free kicks in free kicks in quite easily and over here heading accuracy <laughs> that's the question EA that's the question but in terms of penalty wise really easy player to take penalties with you can see they're hitting the sides and uh, I think we get another penalty a bit later on in but over there not really going to miss those out in terms of long shots though for those of you guys wondering about long shots and all that sort of stuff uh, long shots are really fun with him he was just so enjoyable his dribbling wise as well keeps the ball very close to the feet so when he does get fouled it's more or less always a free kick or a penalty in terms of defending wise, he's good at standing tackles and sliding tackles. Uh, he sort of just flies into the ball, so it does work out for him, and it's also very good in, when you guys need that in your team. So definitely, I'd say he's a must player in the Serie A teams, and maybe if his price does drop down a little bit, you guys will pick him up for a bargain. I think he's going to be one player I'd probably never sell if I get enough to uh, keep him in my squad. But over there, free kicks wise, he does get into a lot of free kicks. You can see there, 98 free kick or pretty much more shot power more or less so over there you can see he does look at a quick drill shot in and the drill shots are a little bit more fun to have but I more or less try to float them in a little bit and use those curve and there somehow I have no idea how he missed the goal from those long shots I just had long shots for days with this guy because it was just uh, so easy but over here you can see off the volley and the keeper does pick up a good save over there so he did keep him out but over here I think we're going to test out his shot power as that's a stat I think I wanted to question a little bit more in the box I know how it is on the outside of the box but inside of box it was just uh, wanting to test out a little bit more and he did give the keepers quite a bit of a difficult task but overall guys did good passing great through balls over the top and he's probably one of those players that you might see happen in a lot of KSI videos so that is something that you can expect but over here you can see that he's going to be giving the pros and cons for him and in terms of strengths and weaknesses I've given him his strengths that is are his free kicks really good free kicks all round passing as well was a great strength and uh, long shots were just something you guys could probably do for days and you probably wouldn't get bored of it and slide tackling ability in well, more or less tackling ability all round slide tackles and standing tackles but in terms of weaknesses I have given him that high high work rates as you want to play him more or less as a cam he will push back into that CDM role, and I didn't really like that too much. As a CDM, I think he worked quite nicely, and as a centre mid, it was more or less his perfect position. Uh, as you can see there, guys, I have put a plus-minus position, uh, plus-minus strength and weakness, which was his heading, because sometimes it was really great, 
but then it did play up. So maybe, guys, that 71 stat is deserved. But anyway, overall, I've given him a 9.6. Really, really simple player to use in the game. If you guys would want to try him out, by all means, uh, I'd recommend him, as he was just so easy to use. And also, he's 91 rated. So you guys, for those of you guys like a really high rated squad, he'll be an ideal player. So hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed, by all means, please do drop it a like. It's always appreciated, guys. If you have missed out the other two videos today, be sure to check them out. And uh, also, if you guys are new around my, my around my channel, be sure to check out my other videos and be sure to subscribe. So this has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you all for the next video.